Guys, if you're looking for a max 2K account, high overall max badges, go check out sportstmb.com. The link to his website will be in the description. Super easy to navigate to. He'll hook you up right away with a great 2K account. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Dignified TW, and we are back with another video. Now, guys, today we've got a very special video for you. We've got Magic Johnson, Larry Bird taking over the twos at the park. You can see. We are back on the post scoring point forward. I've had a lot of fun on this build. You can see my guys on the sharpshooting shot creator to be Larry Bird. Now, I know the first thing you guys are going to be noticing, of course, Magic Johnson wasn't 42. Larry Bird wasn't 31. We couldn't get the jerseys for the custom ones. And of course, the NBA store hasn't updated their jerseys in months. NBA store, you guys got to hook it up 2K. Put all the jerseys in the game, man. But anyway, you can see the first play we're getting blown by right here. Playing that good help defense with the lockdown sitting in the paint. We're able to help a lot. And to be honest with you, this first gameplay, I'm letting Larry Bird do his thing. I've got a lockdown defender on me. I forgot about it right here. I'm not too used to dribbling yet. 6'9", trying to size up a little bit. Right when I size up, I'm getting the ball poked loose, man. But anyway, we had to play good defense. Slasher shooting that. We're going to take it. Magic Johnson able to get the rebound. The best thing about Magic Johnson, he's able to do a little bit of everything. You see rebounding, throwing it out, Hall of Fame timer. Larry Bird cashing it out. Now, these two guys were probably the best players in the NBA for the times they were playing. You know, they really put the NBA back on the map. We'll talk about that a little bit further into this gameplay. But look at this move right here, man. Like, what is Larry Bird on? First one to miss, what does the winner eat? No dunking. But anyway, like I said, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, easily the best two players again. Look at that magic sauce. I don't know. He's got some secret sauce in those Big Macs. But these guys really transformed the NBA. I'll leave a link to this documentary that I watched this morning, kind of talking about Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, what they did for the NBA, and how they kind of changed the whole the aspect of the game. You can see right here, a little backdoor lob, trying to get on the books a little bit. Easy two points. We got two points and assists and two rebounds already. Now, that's the best thing about Magic Johnson, like I said. He was very capable of doing everything. You can see we're down there below snagging that rebound. Larry Bird with a nice little hop shot backwards, man. I'm telling you, this sharpshooting shot creator build, super deadly. Definitely one of the best builds in the game, especially with dual takeover. You can see 14 to 2 right now, kind of going around doing my thing. Like I said, I've got to let Larry do his thing. He's got the mismatch this game. So we're going to let him cook up a little bit. You can see he's dotting me, man, and this jump shot, I was struggling, guys. This guy doesn't have any hot spots, and it really does go to show you that hot spots help a lot in this game. We're going to bait the lockdown right there, but this time I've got catch and shoot activated. Bang, we're greening that out. But I want to talk a little bit more about the NBA. You guys know I love doing these videos, kind of doing the history on these like NBA legends. So we kind of talk about it, discuss it a little bit. But a lot of you guys remember Larry Bird and Magic Johnson from, you know, the Lakers and Celtics days. But wait, well, let me pause real quick. Look at this play right here. Look, Showtime Laker pass. I thought he wasn't going to shoot it. Bang. Larry Bird knocking it down, man. That's just, that just a great play. But anyway, like I said, a lot of you guys think of the Lakers and Celtics rivalries. Rightfully so. They really put the NBA back on the map. But this really all did start back in 1979. Michigan State played uh, Indiana State. And Magic Johnson beat Larry Bird. Now, this is where the rivalry really did begin. Because the next, I think, next year, I think in 1984, actually, they met back up in the NBA Finals. Larry Bird was victorious. And it was just like a really good little matchup. The NBA's ratings were doing awful. Like I said, in the documentary, they actually showed the ratings of like all basketball games. And these NCAA games were knocking out the NBA games in the ratings category by a long shot. Now, like I said before, in the 70s, they were definitely dealing with the merger, dealing with like a lot of fights and drugs and all that kind of stuff. So the NBA was losing a lot of sponsorships and they really didn't have any storylines. So when these guys finally did meet in the championship in 1984, they definitely had a storyline to write. Like I said before, they met in 1979 in the NCAA tournament where Magic Johnson beat Larry Bird. So this is the first time they meet in the NBA championship. And that series definitely did not disappoint. It went to game seven. Larry Bird victorious the first time. The next time they met up, Magic Johnson was victorious. So they just had a great relationship after that. They did a commercial together with Converse and all that kind of stuff like that. I'm not going to spoil too much more of the documentary. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, the link to that will be in the description. But you guys notice this gameplay. We're going to get back into the gameplay a little bit. This gameplay right here, we're going up against the post score, playing hands up defense in the paint. I was not comfortable with shooting with this build. I don't know what it was. It's something with the arm length and the mid range isn't that good. The open shot three is not that good. Arm length really does play a big factor in shooting this year. But we're just not too comfortable with shooting. Like Usually I'll be able to pop that shot. I'm going to hit Larry Bird. He's going to hit him with a nice little fadeaway right there. But ends up missing it. You know, Larry Bird, a lot of people just remember him as a knockdown shooter. But with Larry Bird, he was able to do a little bit of everything. He, he wasn't the most athletic guy. We'll be the first one to tell you that. He'll be the first one to tell you that. He wasn't super athletic. 
he could shoot the ball but he could also do a lot of the other things you know he was very crafty you guys know that one player where he shoots the ball misses gets his own rebound has like an acrobatic layup you know he's just super crafty but you can see right here we're on the post scoring build so we gotta show a little bit of the post score man i'm super comfortable with that so if he's gonna play me back in the paint you know we gotta show him the post score you can see we're getting him with a crossover right here he's playing hands up defense gonna get him with a spin back out again fade right there he's playing hands up on patient going on with my left hand we got that up and under specialist on hall of fame so you know we have to be a little bit of crafty we gotta be crafty and be able to score in different ways but right here i try to shoot a fade away get taken into right i don't know what happened but we can't give these guys the ball i told you that from the get go since we're on a 6-8 and 6-9 build, we're able to help each other a lot, play good help defense. You can see right there, he's trying to drive in, not going to be able to make that. Hall of Fame Dimer kick out to Larry Bird, knockdown shooter. He's greening that. Hit him with a post hop shot. We're greening that. So now we're starting to get a little bit in the groove. We're starting to get that chemistry together. The defense is definitely there. And we're starting to play a lot better basketball. So you can see I've got playmaking and post scoring takeover. You know, I can do all the dribble moves, but it's not going to be too helpful if he's not going to be able to step up. I can't really break him. Like I said, he was just playing below the free throw line pretty much the whole entire game. You can see I'm trying to cook up a little bit, just trying to get used to the dribble moves. But I'm going to hit him with a drop step right here. And remember, this is a center. This guy is super strong. I'm able to drop step him and actually able to get that animation with post scoring secondary. You can see we're switching again right there. Larry Bird kicks it out to me. Look how scared I am to shoot the ball. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said, I didn't want to turn the ball over too many times. My takeover is gone. You can see I'm going right back to the post. I knew he was going to help. For some reason, Larry Bird doesn't shoot that shot. But yeah, I forgot. The whole time we were playing, I thought he was sharpshooting primary. But he's still probably going to make that, obviously. But he gets a nice little spin layup to go in right there. So we're at game point. Again, he's playing that hands-up defense. Look at that showtime flashy pass with the high IQ dot to the middle the man in the middle and he's gonna lay it up so again we're playing post scores every single time you guys know we turn the ball over actually i don't think we started with the ball so you can see again the very fun game place to watch where the post scores just drop step and hit heavily contested layups on you you know i know you guys love that kind of content so we're gonna show you more of it drop step pump fake waiting to get for everybody to jump these guys are super fun to guard, man. I'm telling you, especially when you're on like 6'9", 6'8", player. Super fun to guard. Even when you get the blocks, they're getting their own rebounds. They're throwing it down on your head. So, you know, we're not playing the best. 11-0. Larry Bird getting the steal. Bang. Knocking it down. That's a huge play right there. Like I mentioned before, these guys have super high IQs. Definitely some of the smartest players in basketball ever. And this guy's doing the same thing. I can't blame him. I'm not shooting the ball. But I'm able to cook up a little bit. Just enough to get by him. Left hand layup. I'm getting stopped in the paint a little bit. I'm trying to get out of the way. Bird hits me. I have to shoot it. This jump shot was not it. This jump shot was not working without hot spots. And we're turning the ball over. And right when we turn it over, he activates his post score and take over. And I honestly thought it was a GG. But again, Larry Bird playing great defense, man. They're, he, the post scores, you know, a lot of post scores don't have the highest IQ. They're not too smart. He dives on it. And we're going to get the ball back. And like I said, a lot of times, you know, a lot of dribble, the dribblers, they just over dribble a little bit. So we're going to keep it simple between the legs, behind the back. We're going right to the paint. You can see me cooking up a little bit towards the baseline, reverse lay, open reverse layup. Usually I, you either bank those, you green them, or you're just going to miss it if you don't green it. But luckily I was able to knock that in. We're going with the backdoor cut one time. We're going to do the same thing. We have to get on the scoreboard. We got to get hot. We got to get these layups and all that going in because if one of us gets takeover, that's going to help tremendously since I am a playmaker primary I'm getting takeover off assists and all that kind of stuff too, so that definitely helps a lot. You can see cooking up a little bit. He's playing hands up defense in the paint. We got three seconds left. Bird cuts. I'm throwing him an alley oop. This is prime bird. This is kind of like he's gonna he's gonna be able to throw down a few of these dunks. Larry Bird, like I said, not super athletic, but he did have a few dunks, and that's super helpful right there. You can see hitting him with another fade. When I get takeover, they usually think you're gonna drop step, but I'm super comfortable with fading away and all that. We're just gonna end that game right there. Pretty good game. And we're winning 16 to 21. This is going to be the last gameplay. I, like I said, we were struggling. We're down 10 to 0 with a shot creator and a glass cleaner. Definitely L2 and, you know, very high IQ. Very fun to guard again. This is what all twos are at this point. Like I said, we're able to switch pretty much on everything since we're about the same size. I don't know about the strength and all that, but we're able to switch literally on everything. You can see again, shot creator, you know, trying to shoot that for some reason. And I always tell my guys, you can see Larry Bird's able to tip that box out even though if you have positioning box out every single time a lot of times you're gonna get animations like that even against glass cleaners and we're gonna be able to retain the ball quick backdoor cut they have to respect the shot from larry bird so now he's gonna be doing his thing dexing up a little bit larry bird kicks it out to me i'm wide open brick guys 
you know Magic Johnson, not the best shooter, but you got to hit that. But we're playing great defense. This is the, what separates, you know, good players from great players. Great players are able to play defense. Even if you turn the ball over, you're going to be able to get a stop. And you're going to be able to do your thing. You see, I usually would shoot that. I have catch and shoot, but you see super, this simple little cook right there going into the paint. Going to hit him with the fade. I'm more comfortable in the post at this point. So you got to go with what you're comfortable with when you're down. Again, like I said, keep it simple between the legs behind the back. Simple, quick drop-off dunk. Doing our thing. We end up turning the ball over again. And I watch this, guys. In 2K18, I know you guys remember this. If you zigzagged enough or you dribbled enough, you were not making shots. And this guy literally, watch this play. I had to show you guys this. He's just literally zigzagging, moving left to right with takeover. He's able to make that shot. Now, I don't want to talk too much about archetypes, but let me know in the comment section if you're still watching this video. You guys want archetypes back in 2K19 or 2K20? I come up on the fence with it. I'm not too sure. But again, I have to shoot my shot. We're able to knock that down. Now we have takeover. Hitting him with the post hop shot. Super comfortable with that. You can see how big that bar is. We're knocking it down. 18 to 5 at 15. They're playing a little bit too much help defense. Stop to keep Larry Bird in the corner. Knocking that down. We've got takeover again. Hitting him with another fade. This build is super fun and versatile. Guys, be on the lookout for this build because I'm making it myself. Stop to Larry Bird. That's going to be the ball game. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. But I'm Dignified and I'm out. Peace.